Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? Me Tobias here. Thank you for joining me today, guys. If you guys could do me a favor, if you guys could go down and like this video, that really helps me out on the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you like this video, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. But today, I'm gonna re be reviewing the Impossible Burger at Fat Burger. Here it is in this bag right here, this greasy bag. If you haven't heard of the Impossible Burger, it is a vegan uh, burger patty. Kind of like the Beyond Burger at Carl's Jr. So I ordered one Impossible Burger and one side of fries, and I also added cheese to my Impossible Burger. And the cool thing was, is that the girl working at Fat Burger gave me an extra side of fries also because she said they made too many. So let's go ahead and take everything out of the bag and see what it looks like. Here it is. And then I got the Fat Fries. One, and two. Let's go ahead and open this up. So it looks pretty good guys. Let's go ahead and try it and see how it tastes. So like, from what I understand, all the burgers at Fat Burger, um, I haven't been there many, very many times, but I think all the burgers at Fat Burger come with relish, um, tomato, and lettuce, and mayonnaise, and mustard. And then I added cheese. Adding cheese is 99 cents, I believe. My total came out to, including one order of fries, my total came out to $14.51. I believe if you just want the burger by itself without cheese, it's $9.50, I'm pretty sure. I'll check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how much it is. So let's try this. The patty tastes pretty good. I'm gonna see if I could just try the patty by itself. It tastes like there's a lot of seasoning on the patty. Um, more so, I would say, than the Beyond Burger. I've only had the Beyond Burger at Carl's Jr. And I feel like the Beyond Burger at Carl's Jr. was a lot greasier than this. The Impossible Burger seems less greasy. It tastes pretty good so far. It tastes like, um, kind of peppery a little bit. It's actually really good. I have no idea what their fries taste like, so I'm gonna try this too. The fries are good. They're, these are the fat fries, they have fat fries and skinny fries. Um, it's not very salty. Maybe they just forgot to put salt on them, I don't know. It's funny, I'm trying to find the price online and it's surprisingly hard to find the price online. Um, but I'm pretty sure the price was around $9.50 for just the burger by itself. Um, in comparison, at Carl's Jr., the price of the Beyond Famous Star was around $7.29, I believe. So this was a bit more expensive. I think it does taste a bit better. Like, I would probably go with this next time over the Beyond Burger. I went on the Fat Burger website, and it looks like the, the Impossible Burger patty is made from soy. I'm trying to look up the ingredients online, and the Impossible Burger sounds like a bit of a science experiment. Impossible uses the heme containing protein from the roots of soy plants and inserts it into a genetically engineered yeast. Okay, um, I'm just trying to find the ingredients. I'm not really trying to look at the whole process of making one of these. Um, plant based ingredients, but it's not 100% veggies. Um, water, textured wheat protein, coconut oil, po potato protein, natural flavors, 2% uh, or less of leghemoglobin. Soy, yeast extract, salt. There's like a bunch of like crazy stuff in here. Uh, oh, there's some vitamin B, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, that's cool. Um, I mean, there's nothing here that makes me think like this is bad for you. It's just like, there's just a lot more to this patty than I thought there was. I thought it was just gonna be like, like the Beyond Meat Burger, it's mostly um, yellow peas from what I remember. But um, yeah, there's like a lot of stuff in this and I don't know, it tastes pretty good, guys. 
I'm starving. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this really quick and then I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So guys, I do think that the Impossible Burger at Fat Burger was pretty good. Um, would I go back there to try it? Um, at this point, yeah, I probably would. Um, it was kind of on the more expensive side of like fast food, like $14.50 for like the burger and the fries. It was like, uh, yeah, it was more on the expensive side of like most fast food places. But yeah, I, I'd probably try it again. The thing about Fat Burger is like, I kind of feel like you sort of have to go out of your way to like go there. They don't have a drive through You have to actually like go inside. At least the one year where I live, they don't have a drive through I don't know if there's any other ones out there that do have drive throughs But yeah, you, um, you gotta go in, you gotta order, then you gotta wait. So it's kind of like not the most convenient thing like for fast food. Like usually if I'm eating fast food, it's like a convenience thing. But if we're judging it just on taste, yeah, I think it was good. I think it was pretty good. Maybe like you could order it with like Postmates and you won't have to like go inside there, you know? Also the people working there were pretty cool. Um, so that's also a plus. But yeah guys, like the Beyond Famous Star at um, Carl's Jr. After the third time that I had that burger, I kind of got a little tired of it. Um, I just remember the last time I had it, it was like really greasy and it kind of made my stomach feel a little weird. Um, the thing about Carl's Jr. is that they cooked the Beyond Burgers on the same like conveyor belt that they like cook the um, the meat burgers on, like the actual meat patties. So maybe it gets some of the grease from the meat patties onto the Beyond Burgers, I don't know, but it just kind of like felt really greasy the last time I ate it and it kind of made my stomach like a little like, not upset, but it, I just didn't feel that good after I ate it. Um, this one, I could tell like I'm gonna feel fine, like it wasn't like, as greasy as I thought it would be because I think I still had that that idea of like what the Beyond Burger was like and that's kind of what I thought this might be like but this was actually like pretty good um, at Fat Burger I like how they put like relish on the burgers that's pretty cool too and also mustard one thing I will say though guys is I feel like it is kind of small the burger is not very big so if I were to choose between the Beyond Famous Star and the Impossible Burger at Fat Burger I'd probably choose the Impossible Burger as of right now. Just because the last time I had the Beyond Burger, like it kind of left a weird feeling in my stomach, I guess. Yeah, this was just like a quick little review video I wanted to make because I've been wanting to try this for like a while now. I actually had the intention of reviewing the Impossible Burger at Burger King because I heard Burger King came out with an Impossible Burger. And I was actually planning on trying that today instead of this one. But then I called my local Burger King to see if they had it at their location and they don't have it yet. So that's actually why I went to Fat Burger, and I'm actually like pretty happy with it. It's pretty good. Burger King and Fat Fat Burger, like the patty, the actual Impossible patty, will most likely be the same. I'm guessing, um, but you know, I guess just the the condiments they use and like the buns, you know, will probably be different. Um, one other thing, the buns that they use at Fat Burger are actually vegan. They don't use any eggs or dairy products, so that's a good. Um, that's good if you're like vegan. So yeah guys, that's gonna be just about it for this food review. If you like this video, remember to give me a like down there and also subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications. If you yourself have tried the Impossible Burger, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Let me know if you liked it or if you didn't like it, if you would get it again, if you wouldn't get it again. Personally, I think I would get it again. I thought it was pretty good. All right guys, well, I'll talk to you in my next video. Peace.